We've been building a high-performance small block Chevy V8 for a 1969 Camaro we've been restoring in the V8 Speed and Resto Shop. We've installed a remachined crankshaft and bottom end, added a comp hydraulic roller cam and roller rockers, and assembled the long block. It just came out of the paint booth, and now we're adding the finishing touches. First thing we did is installed the timing cover. Um, again, we continued with our Felpro gaskets and used uh, Aviation Permatex to seal it. Once the timing cover is installed, uh, the next step is the water pump, uh, using the same procedures with the gasket and the sealer and the ARP hardware. Uh, after that, we installed the uh, harmonic balancer with a uh, installer tool, which is basically a reverse puller. Uh, it threads into the crankshaft, has a bearing and a nut that you use to push the uh, balancer on. Uh, sometimes it's beneficial to, to heat the balancer because the press fit can be very tight. Um, if you have an issue, we've tossed them in the oven about 200 degrees, which is no hotter than it would get in normal operation and it makes the process much easier. After that, we flip the motor over so we can install the oil pump and the oil pan. Uh, with a small block Chevy, the oil pump pickup is press fit. There's no fasteners, which means you're free to put it wherever you want. But that's where this gets important, is uh, you want to make sure you put it in the right spot so the engine doesn't starve for oil. If it's too low at high RPM, the oil won't be able to get to the pickup. It'll cavitate, and you won't get enough oil pressure. And if it's too high, uh, the oil may end up dropping below the pickup uh, and you pull a bunch of air and then you'll, you won't have adequate oil pressure and hurt the engine. Uh, so the way you do this properly is you uh, install the pickup part way on the pump. Uh, that way you can still turn it a little bit and then you put the pump uh, on the rear main cap, uh, set your gasket on the block and set your oil pan on. Depending on the type of gasket, you may want to actually torque your oil pan down if your gasket is going to crush a whole lot. Uh, in this case, the Felpo gasket is steel core, so it doesn't crush a whole lot. So I just gave a firm push on the pan, make sure that it was pretty much where it was going to be. Uh, and we did all this with that modeling clay that we used between the pickup and the pan. Uh, that way you can have some sort of compressible medium that you can measure and see where you're at. Um, most engines have a spec. Uh, in a lot of cases, Around 3 8 to half an inch is usually pretty good. Um, if you're running an aftermarket pan, uh, they'll often have a spec provided. And lastly, if you don't have a spec, uh, most of the time the pickup should be basically parallel with the pan. So if you take a visual, visual cue of where you should be. Uh, once you've determined that your uh, pickup's where it should be, uh, you can go ahead and press it the rest of the way in. And it's always a good idea on a small block Chevy or similar design to uh, weld the pickup to the pump so it can't twist or come loose because then you'll have oil problems at that point. So I went ahead and had Adam uh, put a couple tack welds on to make sure it never comes out. Uh, after we installed the oil pump and the oil pan, uh, we flipped the engine back over so we can install the intake and the valve covers. Uh, in this case, we're using an Edelbrock Performer RPM. Uh, it'll match nicely with our RHS cylinder heads and the RPM range our cam is designed for. And the Holley valve covers are pretty cool. Uh, they're polished finned aluminum, uh, but they have a classic Holley logo on them, so they look a little more period correct, not quite so out of place, like a lot of things can look. The other thing we like about these valve covers is uh, the design is very similar to what would have came on a 1969 Z28-302 uh, that you could have ordered in a 69 Camaro. Stay tuned for future episodes where we'll install a Holley Terminator EFI system and take this car for a drive.